This is the Where part. Where is it now getting its wheat from? Yes. Number one right now, I mean, we're looking at uh, wheat from our alternative countries, right? But at the same time, as you know, our president went to Ukraine and went to Russia, yeah. right? I think what he had did was, one is of course for hopefully to create a peaceful between them. But at the same time, he's talking about food security. He's talking about, for example, wheat, right? So what he's saying is, let's you know, bring in the, the values of unity in diversity. We can have all our differences, but we have to think about our people. And this is where the part that we are looking at how to bring in the wheat back to Indonesia. That's number one. But number two, Indonesia now preparing itself for the futures is what kind of, let's say, you know, that is, we call Sogat, Sogu, and in, uh, in Papua, mm. a lot of that. And some other thing that we can actually replace our noodles instead of from wheat, but from other uh, methods. And that's what we are trying to do. Because at the end of the day, we need to make sure that our first security in the future, right? But at the same time, this is not just job of Indonesia. We're talking about ASEAN as an example. That's why we asked, you know, next year Indonesia is chair of ASEAN. So we are talking to the, our ASEAN countries and say, let's let's take a look at the regional kind of food security, perhaps. Mm -hmm. How do we do this? Yeah. You know, and this is the thing that not only food but energy. Mm -hmm. So this is all the at the end of the day, how can we work together within an area, let's say, a region of ASEAN?